so this is the front door, okay? But let me start by telling you guys, the, it's not furnished very beautifully. That I will say it's not furnished beautifully at all. Like, like, But remember, I'm not paying for this apartment. This is an apartment that is given to me by the company. I don't have to pay for it. So, yeah. So anyway, this is the front door. And now I'm going to turn around. Okay, right across from the front door is going to be, that's my bedroom. But first, we'll take a quick look, right? Oh my god, I'm fat. Tell you me. <laughs> okay. So we have this big, humongous closet that is actually full of things. Maybe people who have taught here in the past and have left. Yeah. Okay. Like I said, the furniture is definitely not pretty, but okay. And then this will be my bedroom. These chairs will not stay in this room because it seems kind of creepy that there's chairs right next to my bed. It seems like I have an audience. And another humongous closet. Like I said, it's not, it's not, the furniture is not pretty, but like just the fact that this plate, it's just humongous. Like, okay, so this is already one bedroom. Let me show you guys my view, which is also gorgeous. Look at this view. Oh my God. Oh my God. All right, so that's my bedroom, or that's going to be my bedroom. And now we're going back into the hallway. Humongous hallway. This hallway is bigger than my apartment in Japan. <laughs> and now, oh my God, I can't even believe this. Look at this humongous ass living room. I have a living room. I have a, I have a freaking living room. I have a, I have a, oh my God. Oh my God with like a dining room table. I mean, I'm, oh my God. I literally am like, I'm, where's the light for this room? I can't, I can't, I can't, I just can't. I'm, I'm literally like, yeah, like the furniture, it's old and hideous. That, I mean, yeah, the, the furniture is definitely hideous, but oh my God, this place is freaking huge. Let me get around the corner. And then this is my bathroom. Again, don't look at me, I'm a little fat right now. Oh my God. This is a second bedroom, which I actually can't go into, it's locked. Um, the lady who is like my boss here, she told me that this apartment somehow is related to the company, obviously. Oh my God, I didn't even notice they have my own washing machine. I have a, oh my freaking God, I have a washing machine. I can't, oh my God, I can't believe it. I have a washing machine. This is gonna save me so much time and money. I can't, I just can't. I literally can't, oh my God. Oh my God, I have an actual kitchen. I mean, again, it's hideous, but. Oh my God. Oh my God. I have a humongous refrigerator. Oh, I'm just, I, I, I'm, oh my God. Oh my God, I have a washing machine. Again. Oh my god, none of the places I've been a teacher in yet, I've had a washing machine. I, I, oh my god, oh, I already have everything provided. I don't even have to spend money on any of this. I had to buy all this stuff. I had to buy all this stuff when I was in Japan. Oh my god. Oh my god. All right, I, I don't even no, I don't even know. Oh my God. I am in, I am in shock. I am in such shock right now, you guys. First of all, 
what I've seen of Baku so far, it's fucking gorgeous. It's so beautiful. It's so, it's insane. How, how can there not be more, how can there not be tourist guides and crazy amounts of tourists here? It's so beautiful. It is, I mean, I literally, the whole way from the airport to my apartment, I was like this. It is so, so nice here. It is clean. The weather is amazing. I, I, I mean, I'm just like, I just, I literally was just like, what? Like, I'm, I'm just, in, I'm in, I'm literally in shock right now because I, just because of the fact that there's like so little information about Azerbaijan and like, never, no, I don't know anybody who's ever been there. I don't, like, I don't know anybody who's interested in coming here. Like, it, it was just, I literally, in from like the few little wiki travel, like, there's just no information on, like, people coming here or being interested in this place. Like, I was like, All right, I'm really going to some crazy, it's going to be really backwoods, it's probably going to be really, like, Ugh. and I get it. It's, I mean, it looks like, it looks like if Paris, the Dubai, and Las Vegas had a baby. Like, it's crazy beautiful and it's really clean and if that isn't enough for me to right now be just at the point where i'm just like whoa i'm about to show you guys my apartment for the next year <laughs> it's insane i mean it's yeah i mean when i'm thinking about the other places i've been a teacher Oh my god. I mean, is this is this what is this what being a teacher in a place where there's actually like money and people want to treat you right and they respect you as a teacher is like? I mean, in Japan, I didn't I didn't they didn't give me any help to find an apartment. My apartment was this tiny little hole in the wall if you guys saw my apartment tour. In Thailand, I basically had a room with a refrigerator in it and Tanzania, I literally, I just had a room. I didn't even have a shower that worked. I mean, yeah, let me just show you guys this apartment, okay? <laughs> and then you'll see what I'm talking about. All right, so that was my apartment tour. I am, <laughs> I am, I know a lot of people are, like, I know a lot of people are just going to look at this and be like, ew, the curtains are ugly and the, the furniture is ugly and it's, it is, it's ugly and it's crazy outdated and, I'm not even going to try to sell it as nice, but literally, I have, I have never, this is, sounds, this is going to sound so pathetic considering I'm in my mid-30s, but I've never had my own apartment. No, I've never had my own apartment. Oh my goodness, well, I had my own, okay, sorry. I had my own apartment in Japan. But like, in Japan, if any of you guys saw my Japan apartment video, it literally was like you walked in. There was a bathroom, then there was a room, and there was like a little built-in little kitchen-y thingy. There wasn't even a kitchen. It had like one thing where you could heat food and a sink, and that was it. Like that was my the only apartment I've ever had. Every other thing, it was always like I lived in like a roommate situation. Yeah, and especially like when I was living in the U.S., I had... Um, I lived in apartments with roommates that were relatively nice, but like the last, the last, like I, when I was living in Germany the last time, I lived in my sister's cellar. I had like one room and I like, I was able to share like the rest of the house with them, obviously, but like I lived in the cellar in this one room, you know, I didn't even have my own bathroom or anything. And then when all the traveling and, um, working abroad, I didn't have my, I, you know, I didn't have, like, a real apartment either. Like, so, I'm, I'm, <laughs> so, so far, Baku, A++. Oh, my God, and then the lady, I'm just like, I'm just like, is this the way ESL teachers are supposed to be treated? Because if it is, I'm going to tell you right now, all the other places I've been a teacher, fuck off. I mean, the lady's like, oh, I understand you came in really late. So, you know, tomorrow let's have an easy day. You know, we'll just spend like two or three hours together. I won't even take you to the school. That can wait. I'm like, 
And when I got to the air, when I came out of the airport, they actually had like water and stuff like groceries that I will need for the first like day ready. And they brought it to me. I'm just like, whoa, whoa, like, whoa. All that's missing in this place to make it perfect is Wi-Fi. <laughs>